Be strong and of a good courage. Well, I guess I was not the most courageous person on earth. My name is Caleb, and I was honestly not the happiest person in the world. Every day at school for me was like hell. You know that person who eats alone during mealtimes? That person who is always left out of everything? Yup, that was me. That lonely guy. I know this may sound a little childish, but I don't have a phone. And when those rich kids talk about their phones, it was terrible. Watching them was depressing enough, but it did not stop there. When they did find out that I did not have a phone, well, I didn't get to hear the end of that. Now, you would think after all this, my home will be my sanctuary. <sighs> you are mistaken. Honestly, home was never a home for me. Most of the times when I got back, my parents would be in some ridiculous argument about really irrelevant things. Sometimes, they would argue through the night and all I could do was just watch. The only time I felt at home was when I finally went to sleep. <sighs> and when I went back to school the next day, it all started again. However, in one fateful day, it all changed. I mean, I just saw it. Wesley's phone was right there, and so I took it. Wesley was the one that mocked me for not having a phone, and so I returned the favor and let him taste his own medicine. I know it's sin, but I didn't intend to sin, or at least I was blind to my sin. And even more, I didn't think I would feel that bad. It was only after the chapel that my eyes were open. My fear must have gotten me that day. Simon saw something unusual about me, so he confronted me, and I couldn't bear it anymore, so I told him everything. I mean, at times, I did want to give the phone back to him, but that fear stopped me. Then he prayed for me, and it was really weird. All the fear and shame just disappeared. Poof, just like that. It was then when I decided I would return the phone. I'll be completely honest. I was scared, terrified even, to the point of regretting my decision. I mean, 
what if he bullied me even more? But I knew deep inside of me that it was the right thing to do. I prayed and confessed to Wesley. And to my surprise, he actually took the news quite well. Of course he was surprised and all, but he actually showed grace and mercy to a thief like me. And after that, we became really good friends. God is with me and giving me strength and firmness of character, enabling me to endure any trial or danger. Be strong and of a good courage. Fear not, nor be afraid of them. For the Lord thy God, he it is that doth go with thee. He will not fail thee, nor forsake thee. And that was the story of how I was courageous to God.